Greetings, Warrior fans, a special edition of our Gridiron Show as we are joined by a new Waldorf head coach, Will Finley. Congratulations, Coach. Thank you. Uh, coach Luttrell has accepted a position as the head coach at his former school, Earl Warren, down in Texas, uh, and you step in immediately. Yep. Great sign of confidence in the administration and uh, Coach Luttrell putting you in charge. You have to be pleased with their faith in you. Yeah, I just, I'm thankful that the administration, uh, President Alsop and Coach Gassman, our athletic director, believing in me and the direction of the program. They wanted to keep it in the same and continuity on the staff. And it, I'm just blessed that, that they saw it that way. And I'm excited to be the net, new head football coach here. You were, you were playing only about 10 years ago, right. did, you, did you ever anticipate that your career would take off to the point where you're a head college football coach this quickly? Uh, never my wildest dreams. I mean, I got, in, I got into coaching because I love being around guy, the guys and, and uh, working with young people. And uh, it's just, no, I, I didn't ex expect it, I guess. Uh, obviously, fans are going to know Coach Finley. Worked with the team last year big part of the team's success, climbing to number 23 in the nation yeah. and continuing those phenomenal seasons, uh, looking to get over that second place hump, but not a bad deal when you're continually contending for the title. How, how much did last season uh, impact uh, this move, you think? Well, I think Coach, Coach Littrell brought me in to um, you know, help, help the defense and and grow that side of the ball, and um, we, I think we improved, and, and it was because we had older players, and, um, but with his leadership was the reason we were able to do that, and uh, Coach has, has taken the program to the, high, high, the next level, and uh, we want to continue doing in that direction. Talk a little bit about uh, the road here. Uh, you played at Benedictine, you were the uh, defensive coordinator there. You took him to the national championship game. Uh, you've got some good experience. It's not like uh, we're calling on somebody who's just no, uh, learning I, the game. No, I, I, it's you know I was blessed to play and coach under Coach Wilcox, who uh, is, is one of the most winningest NAI coaches in in, uh, in history. Uh, he's in the NAI Hall of Fame, and just seeing him day to day and how he conducts himself and the organization and um, it's it's I'm gonna have to lean on lean on those experiences and and work with coach Littrell for, for this short amount of time I'll lean on those as well but um, it, I'm just lucky to and blessed to be where I am today now uh, you were the defensive coordinator here you got invited to the the senior bowl as yep. the defensive coordinator but you also have offensive background, so it's not like you're just focused on one side of the ball. Running backs coach uh, for a while, and uh, so is there going to be a focus when you take over the team? Is it going to be a mainly defense? Will you stay as the defensive coordinator? What what right. kind of plans do you have, yeah. having known you have the job for all of 12 to 24 hours? Right. <laughs> yeah. That's the the staffing's huge. Um, we always think staffing, fundraising, recruiting. And I, I plan to stay on defense and, and continue to call it. And then we'll probably look um, to bring in an offensive play caller and uh, we'll kind of see how the next, the next couple days and, and visiting with, with uh, Coach Gassman and, and the rest of our staff. Is that where you feel most comfortable on the defensive side? I, I think so for, for now. I, I, I want to continue being a better defensive coordinator, but also as I – you know, transition to the head, head football coach. Now, you were the assistant head football coach last year, yep. so we should say that you're not unfamiliar with a lot of the roles that you'll be playing as the head man, uh, recruiting, stuff like that. How much does that help you moving into this role that you have some of that experience already? Well, I think Coach Littrell's done a great job of delegating responsibilities, and he, he lets you in on everything that's going on. I think because of that, I'm, he's really prepared all of us, and I guess me in particular, to take on that next role. This has all happened so fast. 
had, and, and it's spring break starting, right. well, some of the kids I'm sure have already left campus. Mm -hmm. Have you had a chance to talk to the team? I mean, it's not someone new coming in, so that's obviously going to be a good thing as far as keeping guys in, in the system and stuff. But you ha have you addressed the team yet? Yeah, last night Coach Litchwell had a, a team meeting, and they, they introduced me last night. I was, I was able to, to talk to the, the team, and then this morning we had a morning workout where President Alsop and Coach Gaspin were there, and, and we spoke to the team again. So, so it's a good, it's been a good transition so far. So far. Uh, moving ahead, uh, what do you see for this team? I mean, obviously you, you're defensive minded, but uh, you know that doesn't necessarily have right. to be the makeup of the team. Right. You know, we're going to go score points, and uh, you know have an exciting continue on that direction of our offense that we've been won the rushing title for three years offensively and and just play hard-nosed tough football and uh, situationally be really good and uh, win the turnover battle and prepare our guys week, week in week out. Has it sunk in yet? I mean it's got to be an exciting weekend. Yeah it hasn't sunk in yet no I, I, I don't know when I'll sleep but I'm, I'm excited I, I, I told the guys that I'm, I'm proud to be their head football coach, and uh, I have their back, and I'm going to stand right, right beside them the whole way through. Fans, uh, your new head Waldorf Warrior football coach, Will Finley, congratulations, coach. Thank you. Good luck, uh, and good luck continuing the success that uh, Coach Luttrell had. And of course, uh, good luck to Coach Luttrell as he returns to, to Earl Warren down in uh, San Antonio. I want to thank you, fans. Uh, and of course, we'll have plenty of chance uh, when fall or uh, excuse me, spring ball starts here in a few weeks to see what uh, Coach Finley brings to the field, and then an exciting fall coming up as well. Congratulations again, Coach. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Go Warriors.